Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. So, so this video, or at least the content of this video, is exactly why I began my botched beauty series here on my YouTube Chanel. I am not disfamiliar with a little bit of, um, a little bit of aesthetic work, shall we say? A little bit of a plump here and there, a little bit of filler. I am mm. not too disfamiliar with it myself, my lovelies. And if I'm honest with you, it is a very expensive thing to keep up with. I've been quite lucky because my genetics are terrible in terms of metabolism. Love that for me. But it means that filler for me lasts quite a while. Um, the last time I got my lips done was about four years ago. I've only just recently had them redone. They're a little bit swollen still at the moment, but that's beside the point of today's video. Today's video, my lovely, we are going to investigate the dark, and evil world of illegal black market silicone injections. Um, um, um. There's a lot we're going to cover in this video today and I hope that it doesn't uh, traumatize you all. Is that the word I'm gonna go for? I think that's the word I'm gonna go for. Take this as your trigger warning, my lovelies. If you do not do very well with health conditions or um, amputated limbs or anything of the sort, then maybe join me on the next video, my lovelies. So, so the first time that I became aware of like black market injections of any sort was actually when I was pretty young and I came across Pete Burns. Now Pete Burns, the absolute icon, rest in peace, my lovely, is a, a great example of how badly wrong injections can go. So Pete Burns had in his lips an experimental injection called uh, polyacrylate. Now polyacrylate is a kind of like plastic polymer um, hybrid and it just decimated his health. It really did a number on him and I feel very bad that he was led down that route to believe by his doctors that it was actually a good choice at the time. So, you know, black market injections are one of those things where they promise to give the, uh, the patient a, a professional result at a fraction of the cost. And let me just tell you, my lovelies, do not do it. Do not do it. Even if you are one of the lucky ones who for five years doesn't have any problems at all, there's nothing to say that that silicone or that substance you've had injected in you is not going to cause problems 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line, 20 years down the line, and you could have all sorts of health complications such as the ones listed on the screen right here. And ultimately it can lead to death. So there are a couple of high profile um, influencers, shall we say, on Instagram and here on YouTube who have had black market silicone and they're very open for the fact that they have had black market silicone injections. One of the most prominent ones that I can think of is Eden the Doll. And um, Eden the Doll, absolute body goals. How beautiful does she look? And she has been very forthright about the fact that she has had black market silicone. Although I must actually also point out, although she's being honest about this, she did in fact also release on her Instagram that she was keeping an anglerfish as a Pet and everyone fell for it, even though it's impossible to do so, sis. They live in the ultimate depth of the ocean. It couldn't possibly live in a glass. But there we are, you know what I mean? There we are. She's been very open about her experience with silicone injections, but do not follow her example because we today are going to be looking at a couple of videos that show how badly wrong black market illegal silicone injections can go. Are we ready to look at these videos, my lovelies? I don't even know if I'm ready. I've, I've kind of collected them together for this video. Compilated, you might say. Is that a word? Compilated? Compilate? Compiled, that's the one. And you know what I also found, which I find a little bit like difficult to reconcile with? The majorities of these videos that have the most views that I'm going to be looking at today are revolving around women of color and trans women of color. So I think we're not quite ready to have that socioeconomic conversation yet. With that being said, my lovely, shall I pop in my ohrenge? Oh, you guys really love when I say ohrenge for some reason. I've got Swedish viewers who love it. I've got German words who love it. German words, German folk. Ooh. In das Badezimmer das Mädchen ist. So, the first video that we're going to be looking at today is called Cosmetic Surgeon Black Market Silicone Shots Put Lives at Risk. Augmentation procedures can cost thousands. The illegal alternative, black market silicone shots, has cost at least one life in the Rio Grande Valley. That's right, silicone, the kind used to cock windows and doors. This is the problem, this is the problem, this is the problem, is that silicone is not meant to be inside the body. If you're interested in that, at the end of the video, I'm going to go into why silicone is um, both good and bad, and exactly what silicone is. We throw this word around, it's like, yeah, it's silicone, it's silicone, and you kind of have this understanding of what it is, but I bet you don't. I bet you don't. So we're going to go over that at the end. The night team's Jesse de Guiado shows what happens when it's injected into the body, but we must warn you, some of the images you're about to see are very graphic. Mm. 
undeniable. That's what these women counted on. Naomi Gonzalez is charged with aggravated assault. Elva Navarro with murder. Both accused of practicing medicine without a license, telling clients. I have this material that I can inject and plump up your butt. Rodriguez says they allegedly used silicone, the kind available at any hardware store. The illegal procedure that cost $600 was done in hotels, homes, and even the back room of a salon. Look at that. Look at that. That is not safe to go in the body. What? What? I'm glad these two women were charged because, oh my God, don't do it. They thought it was a good idea. They figured, well, I get my hair colored here. I get my nails done here. Why not? This I get I'm sorry, what is this we're looking at? Oh, uh, it looks like a schnitzel, but I can absolutely tell you it's not a schnitzel. But can I just say, if you go to a place to have your hair done, why would you also th I would never think, oh, I go to this place to have my hair done. Why don't I just get my butt filled at the same time? Like, if you go to a hairdresser, that's what you're going there for? Because they're licensed as a hairdresser. It looks like a tumor after the body tries to wall off the silicone. After a couple of years, they started noticing that, wow, this is really starting to hurt. It's starting to feel lumpy bumpy. My skin color starting to change. The skin oh is dying, my God. eroded away by the silicone. The immediate risk if it migrates to the lung. The skin has died. <gasps> Necrosis of the flesh is not something glamorous. It is not something celebrity. It is not something shapely and curvy and worth $600, sis. It is absolutely not worth it. An embolism or amputation. <gasps> if it's not too late, cosmetic surgery can restore a more natural look to the area once the silicone is taken out, then replaced with FDA-approved implants. Rodriguez sees patients who've had large quantities injected after multiple treatments, so his advice don't do it oh my god so that video i think was a great introductory video because it explains the problems that we have with uh, injecting black market silicone directly into the body if you are going to this place and it costs cheap and and quite clearly you're having it done in a hotel or a salon or something these people don't know anything they're not trained to be sanitary the reason why we have a silicone implant is because you can't just inject silicone willy-nilly into the body. It migrates, it moves around, it is a fluid that doesn't set. That's the point. This one is called Pump Doctors Offer Cheap and Dangerous Silicone Injections. Transgender woman trying to put a stop to a popular practice here in Atlanta. Illegal silicone injections have become widely available in the city and she says they are incredibly dangerous. Just last week, a friend of hers died. Our Caitlin Ross has taken a closer oh, look God. at the so-called pump doctors offering a cheap alternative to traditional plastic surgery. Caitlin. For 10 years, Talia Cassande got silicone injections every other week, despite... For 10 years? Silicone injections for 10 years? Why? Uh, I don't understand how... This sort of thing, unfortunately, is rife within the trans community because, because trans surgeries in order to alleviate dysphoria are gated behind a massive amount of cost. So I can understand why people are always looking for that cheaper alternative and that more affordable alternative, something that's actually within their bracket. But you also need to be educated that you can't just go to someone and have them randomly inject you with something. What? No, if you have anyone in your life that's even considering this or has even talked about it, Please, let them know the dangers. Crippling medical issues, she kept going back. <gasps> she says it was only once she got the silicone removed that she realized just how dangerous it was. Here I am walking and breathing, not knowing that I pretty much have a rotten corpse inside of my body. She started getting the injections in her breasts, buttocks, and cheeks in 2004. I hate <gasps> Breasts, buttocks, and cheeks. That's almost covering the entirety of the inside of your body in silicone. No, I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry, no. Had to be better in my looks. I didn't think that I was going to accomplish my goals if I didn't look the part. Despite nearly daily fevers and almost <gasps> losing her left leg, she kept going back. But I was so used to feeling bad that it became normal. She drove to Albany, Georgia weekly to get injections from oh. Aisha Santiago. Later across her bed and received the injections there. While she was still a patient, Santiago went to prison for murder after another woman she injected died. Cassadine testified against her and eventually stopped getting the injections. But she says even the high-profile trial wasn't enough to stop a close friend and mentor. 
who died last week after getting silicone injections in Tampa. <gasps> if she only knew that there were people who saw her being perfect. She was perfect to me. Cassidine started a Facebook group to speak out against the illegal practice, and she talks to people considering getting it done honestly. I've gone to the point of removing my shirt and showing them the scars. People need to see the ugly side. She wants to see police crack down on the practice and for people to stop getting these illegal silicone injections. It's time for people to stop dying to be beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, that took me on a, um, a very difficult journey and I'm really sorry that we had to witness that, my lovelies, but I want these videos to be educational because you are only one degree of separation away from someone who can do this for you. If you have any dysmorphia or dysphoria about your entire body, you are going to look for these sorts of things and they're going to cross your mind. I want you to know that it is not worth it. There are people around you, as this wonderful woman explained, that she loved her friend that had this done and passed away. She loved her so much, she was perfect to her. And as someone that's lost someone very, very close to me, in my memory, they were they are always perfect to me. And I wish that things were different. So the next video, the next video is like the one, sis. It's, it's the one that, um, as soon as I saw this thumbnail, I was like, oh my God, is there any more of a perfect example to not get black market injections? Woman has all her limbs amputated after bootleg silicone injections. I think this one's gonna be a lot, so prepare yourselves. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to shout out Ruth on Facebook. Ruth sent me a story about April Michelle Brown. She wants to know my opinion on her situation. Um, basically, if you guys don't know who April Michelle Brown is, April is a woman who had went to a back alley plastic surgeon, somebody that she did not really know. She allowed them to inject silicone into her buttocks and after they did that, they became hard. She ended up getting an infection and got so sick that she almost died. See, this is exactly the kind of problem as well, is that you are not just getting silicone put into your body, you are having a black market injection. That needle could have been anywhere. If you're having it done in uh, oh, someone's home, is their home a surgery? No, is it sprayed and kept up to like regulations? Absolutely not. It could come from anywhere. This is a huge problem, is that for some reason, people think that when you get something in a tube, it's sterile. Like, it is not. The reason why we have autoclaves in hospitals is because things do not come sterile. Unless it's like sealed in plastic, vacuum packed um, from a pharmaceutical retailer, why would it be, why would it be sanitized? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be at all. Doctors were able to save her life, but they were only able to save her by making her a quadruple amputee. Meaning that she lost both her arms oh. and her legs during the surgery. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this news oh, clip. Um, April has been out here telling her story for about a year and a half now. So I'm very familiar with her story. But in case you're not, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this clip. And then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Please. This one is about a plastic surgery nightmare. A woman turns to a so-called back alley doctor for injections to enhance her body. And the results, devastating. Now that woman is sending a warning to others. And tonight she talked exclusively with our Beverly White. April Brown was once a cosmetologist, fashion designer, and working mother of two daughters. Oh. That's your thumb, right? This is my thumb right here. <gasps> She's now a multiple amputee. She says hospitalizations after unlicensed cosmetic right. procedures <laughs> led to life-threatening infections. Oh, Professionals yes. removed her limbs really last year yes. to save her life. I got the butt implants like um, eight years ago. So for five years, I lived in pain, you know, excruciating pain. April Brown won't identify the unlicensed practitioner who injected her with silicone and only says it happened somewhere near Western and Manchester. She believes her issues with lack of self-esteem are mostly to blame. The patriarchy, sis, smash the patriarchy. We do not need to be doing this to ourselves in order to feel acceptable and beautiful. And I feel so many different conflicting emotions for this, this poor woman here because low self-esteem is one of those things that drives you to crazy wild lengths. It drives you to places you never thought you would actually go to mentally uh, for desperation purposes. They call it um, butt injections. And... Um... And these things are done like at pumping parties and and pumping parties, pumping parties, pumping parties. I know it's a very serious topic, but doesn't it also sound very voxel? Like, oh, go to the pumping party. Stop doing pumping parties. This this is a thing. Pumping party.
No, I just think the people that go to pumpkin par pumpkin parties, the people that go to pumping parties and the people that run pumping parties, they must have no idea of the gravitas of the situation of what they're getting involved in. While the body is incredibly resilient, you are bypassing all of the immune system responses, all of your body's natural healing abilities by injecting something directly into it. And the thing with these injections is, these people don't know the injection technique. These people that are doing this don't know how to correctly aspirate an injection so you don't just go straight into a vein or an artery. These people don't know the quadrants of the buttocks that they have to be injected in. These people don't know this. They're not trained. Cosmetic and plastic surgeons have years, literally years and years and years and years and years and years to train. Seven to 11 years in most cases. These people that just have no license whatsoever going down to Home Depot or B&Q buying bathroom caulking silicone and just being like, sure sis, come over $600. I'll pump you up. Bring your friends. We'll make a party. I, I get so angry when it comes to these sorts of things because this is predatory behavior. It is preying again on the weak and vulnerable in society that have low self-esteem, that are desperate and offering them this like poisoned apple and is being like, you can take as many bites as you want, but you will face consequences for doing so. They call it medical grade silicone, but a lot of it is industrial grade silicone. Brown's case recalls these Florida women maimed by unlicensed cosmetic operators, but Brown feels she's a survivor, empowered by the words of loved ones who feared she would die. We don't validate each other. We really don't know how our friends feel about us. And we really don't get a chance to hear it if we don't have very expressive friends. Brown envisions a new career as a motivational speaker, while daughters Courtney and Donye are grateful she'll be home for Mother's Day. In South LA, Beverly White, NBC4 News. Oh my God, what an absolutely heartbreaking video. All right, my lovelies, I'm gonna push away my laptop right there and let's get into the nitty gritty of what we have seen today. So, first of all, I think you can probably categorically tell I'm going to say this, do not get black market silicone injections. We have so many influencers in this day and age that have had their lips done, they've had their cheeks done, they've had their butt done, they've had their hips done, they've had their tits done. There are so many people on Instagram and in real life and that we see on TV that have even admitted to having like illegal silicone injections, whether that's directly into the face or any other area of the body. And I just think it's so negligent to even suggest to people that that is an actual option to have because raw silicone injections are not something you can get done. You can't have raw silicone within the body. And in fact, I think I actually remember hearing that there is no such thing as medical grade silicone. So if you were here for a video that I did a very, very, very long time ago on Jemima Starship's uh, concealer that he was releasing at the time, silicone is one of my favorite, absolutely favorite ingredients in cosmetics. And the reason why it is is because it's actually a very, very versatile and incredibly wondrous chemical. Especially used in compounds, it can create beautiful slip, it is very expandable, it also contracts nicely, it's elastic, it holds pigment well, it is a crucial part of waterproof cosmetics and also for cosmetics that are longer lasting, both oil-free and water-free formulations. So a silicone or a polysiloxane is a polymer made up of siloxane units. They are colourless, rubber-like substances and are used in sealants, adhesives, lubricants, medicine, cooking utensils, thermal and electrical insulation. It is a miracle product. What exactly is silicone though? So silicone is like a sort of uh, a nickname that we give to polysiloxanes and polysiloxanes are essentially polymers consisting of many siloxane units all together any number of times. And when it is produced any number of times, the certain length of these chains of siloxanes is what we call different products. So for example, one of my absolute favorite silicones is called decamethylcyclopentasiloxane and it is a polymer ring of siloxane units. You can see it on the screen right here. My hands down favorite, favorite silicone because it's in, when it's in foundations, concealers, uh, primers, it evaporates from the skin beautifully and creates a wonderful surface for pigments to stick to. However, where does it come from? Well, so a siloxane unit consists of a silicon. So silicon itself is an actual element by itself. It is a hard, brittle, like crystal solid. It can almost be thought of actually as a mineral. And interestingly enough, silicon dioxide, which is SiO2, which is basically just silicon that's been exposed to oxygen in its 
its environment, is the second most studied substance in scientific literature, second only to water. That is how much we know about silicon dioxide. Twelve different crystal modifications of silica are known, the most being alpha quartz, a major constituent of many rocks such as granite and sandstone. Impure forms are also known as rose quartz, smoky quartz, morion, amethyst and citrine. Your boob job's made of rose quartz, sis. Is it aligning your chakras? I think most people don't actually realise that silicone comes from a mineral from a rock. Most people don't realise that when they go to the beach and it's really sandy, most of that is silica. And that also forms glass panels that we use on our buildings. That can also form plastics, it can also form cosmetics, and it can also form implants. The reason why it's so amazing as a chemical is because it is so versatile. And it is for all of these reasons that you would not want it raw in your body. It needs to be kept in a protective capsule and put in as an implant. Even with the best surgeons in the world putting in implants into people's bodies, there can always be reactions and negative consequences. Your body sees it as a foreign object and tries to wrap it in scar tissue. And now we have new ways of creating not smooth versions of implants so that the body can't actually manage to encapsulate it in tissue because it's reacting to it as a foreign body. But you would never know all of these things if you were just picked up silicone cork from your local hardware store and was going to inject it directly into your body. So I hope that with that little bit of information you can take away from this video. No, not to do it. Don't put it in you. You're basically putting rock mineral directly into your body and your body will go, what the hell is this? I'm having a problem. Don't do it sis. It's not worth it. And with that my lovelies, I think it is time to do my Instagram shout out of the day. And that is Nasty Meow Meow. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram. You stunning woman on the go. I'm actually nearly at 20k on Instagram, which I'm wildly surprised by. How has this happened? Amazing. Thank you all so much my lovelies. If you want to be in with a chance of being in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me over on Instagram, it is xxluxeria. And I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreons, you can see all your names on the screen right here, you absolute stunning beautiful women on the go! And a massive hello and welcome to the Dragon Lady 1231, Purple Frog, Teresa Johefson and Erica Bird. And once again I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons and channel members! Stephanie Neotupski, Morrigany Wolf, Erin Conkel, Caitlin Wright, Steffi Tech, Megan Holly, Dana Broderick, Moldy Apple, and Orcos Samoji. And also a marvellous welcome back to the illustrious Magustula Goose. Yes, go! Thank you so much for your continued support. You are enabling this channel to thrive. And with that, my lovelies, don't get any dodgy injections. It's just not worth it. No matter how beautiful all of these pictures of people may be, you don't know what's going on inside their body. Don't follow their example, my love. Be more sensible. I know it costs a lot, but your body will appreciate it in the future, my loves. Your friends and family would much rather have you here than looking very shapely in a coffin. And that's the Darjeeling. I will see you in the next video, my beautifuls.